how you're doing. So what we're going up to in this video? Well, this will probably be the only clue you need. So let's get on with it. Okay then, let's drain the oil so we can get the clutch cover off. Okay, now we need the yellow key, and I know where that is. Yes, it's just there, and all the XJ bits and bobs. As you can see, I'm having trouble with the XJ as well. I could smell petrol one day when I pulled it out, so I ignored it for a few days like you do. But then I thought I'd better investigate and then I sort of run it down to this pipe. It was a thinner pipe on there before and I thought yes that's definitely leaking because it was wet through. So I put this new piece in, thinking everything's all hunky dory but then when I picked the tank up to put it back on, A little spurt of petrol started spurting out there. So yes, I've got fun and games with the extra. No, it's there. You could see it. I did actually try to put a self tapper in it. That's just another piece of raw spot that's treating. Yeah, put a self tapper in it with a rubber washer around it and it just kept screwing in and didn't tighten up so I'm going to have to go another route. Anyway, back to the job in hand. Right then, let's put our trump can in place and get all these bolts undone. all my lovely new paint off. Hopefully it don't do too much damage. Yes, after being devastated in the last video, I sort of given up hope. Until you lot started commenting me on it, maybe the clutch. It gave me some hope again. I was thinking it was the balance shaft, which is just down there. I know I definitely set it up right on the uh, first bottom end build, but uh, as you know, I made a mistake, left a part out, so I had to strip the engine down again and do it again, but I've got no video footage of doing that, so I can't check to see if I uh, made sure the balance weight was in the correct timing position. So I was thinking I would have to take the uh, radiator off, take the exhaust off, take the sump off and get the uh, balance gear out, line it all up to top dead centre. Cool, I was not looking forward to that. So thank you everybody for your comments in the last video. Inspired me to carry on. One bolt to go. Here we go. 
Now then, how easy is this cover going to come off? Oh! <laughs> yeah, well that was easy enough, wasn't it? Thank God I put a bit of grease on it. Well, nothing seems to be moving. It's all feel tight. <coughs> no movement back to front, back to front, no movement back to forward. No movement back to front. None whatsoever. like I'm barking up the wrong tree already but uh, anyway let's carry on black sludge in there I don't know where that's from I must be honest with you guys I'm still a bit confused because you're all saying check the springs and whatnot so all the springs are inside behind these bolts I know but on the back big cog at the back there's some springs on there as well which springs do you mean to check these or them at the back anyway let's get on with it right then let's crack all the 10 mils the untight Well, I can hear the spring. There we go. Now imagine all this is going to pull out. Uh, better get something to put it in, haven't I? Yeah, I'll put it all in here. I'll keep it in the order it came out. Looks okay to me, I guess. Bearing. Bearing feels alright. Yeah. That one don't look too good. That one's not got much meat on it. I don't know, I'm no expert. ring as well. Well, it will fall out when it wants to. Okay, anyway, we've got this ball, so we may as well carry on. So we've got to get this big nut off. But obviously we can't because that's going to keep spinning. So you will need some sort of a tool to hold this in place. But 
just be very careful because it's all alloy and it breaks very easily. But I've got one of these, I got it from the car boot a few years ago, only a couple of quid. Just put that in the uh, castle effect shape. to the right size not too tight not too loose there we are it should do and uh, I'm just using the gear stick as a stop point for it so I think you probably will be able to do that with a impact wrench as well. Yeah, rattle gun. And just gonna try it with this. Oh. Well that's not very tight. That's not very tight at all. I'm going to take that off there now. Remove the big knot. Oh, then put it on the floor. Put it in the bucket. Then that should lift out, I think. Hey, see what I mean? a plate in there but I suppose that don't matter because that could it'd just fit underneath anyway won't it and then remember from the other one you can't get this out because it's got a big clutch not a big clutch a big cog on the back so you can't get it out so you have to remove this Let's see if we can do it with a magnet have to remove the inner bush first Do we make it? Go on, Johnny, get your act together. I think I did the other one with a pair of long nose pliers. Yeah, that's it. We got you. Why won't it come off? Ooh. Scary stuff. weird marks on it I suppose but nothing deep let's get the basket case out they you going to tell me it's not going to come out aren't you? it's got to come out no you've got to come out Scare me like that. Is that supposed to do that? Answers in the comments, please help me. Is that supposed to make that noise? These springs, that one's tight. That one's a bit loose. That one's tight. That one's very loose. That one's very loose. The green ones, they've got colours on them. Green ones are very loose. The little bearings look alright. Oh my god. It's like a brush washer. the main bearing which feels all right yeah, the bearing feels okay so let's take some on the other one and uh, hopefully stick it back on 
Okay, that's how we want clutch springs. Bear away, clutch springs, 600, 1000 models. 600 that's 4 springs, 1000 model that's 5 springs. Uh, service limit, 1000 models, H, J, K, L, M and N models. I think that's one of mine, I don't think mine's the P model which is different. So it says limit, so that must be 46 millimetres. Right then, got my uh, Verdia tool, it's one of the springs from the clutch we've just taken out, hope we're not too whited out with this book, ok let's uh, put it into action, set it to zero, I don't know if you can see that, Well, it does say zero, zero. Put the spring in there. Light pressure. 45.75. So they're out of service limit, aren't they? They are. 35.75. They should be 46. Minimum. So let's get one of the uh, replacement springs. Please be 46 or bigger. I won't go in there without opening this a bit. There we go. That's just about holding it. And they are 46.08 where are we? 46.08 or it's 0.9 there so these springs are obviously better because they're bigger well that one is <laughs> let me check the rest That one's even bigger, I think. That one is 46.8. Oh, that one's even bigger, I think. That one is 46.8. Yes, and uh, where are we? That one is 46.13 as well. Final one is 46.1. So on the wear and tear side of things, I think we're good to go with the uh, replacement clutch. So let's get it stuck back in. Okay then, so the first thing we want to fit is this brush washer. Put that on. needle bearings in there. Get a squirt of oil. The bush as well. We want the big bush in there. We can get it in. Push it all the way in. Well, there should be a washer behind that. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, that you went flat and all my last bit of footage was cropped. So, moving on a bit. We've got all the clutch plates in. <laughs> We've got the uh, centre dot all tightened up and torqued down to 9 foot pounds. Uh, so now I've just got to put the push rod in. not bent. Put the mushroom thing back in. Put 
the uh, top pressure plate back on uh, push it on because of the uh, hydraulic piston at the back for the clutch push the piston back Okay, so we can tighten these up in a triangular shape. Let's go to the furthest one away from the one you've just done. Okay, so I think these are nine foot pounds as well. I don't hold the ratchet like this and tighten them up because these back legs, what these bolts go into, they all just snap off. How do I know? Because I've done it twice in the past. As long as they lock up, that should do. I don't want there we go that's it all locked down stick it out of there and put the oil back in did put the salt plug back in didn't I <laughs> no, it's too late if I didn't Here goes nothing. Let's try and start it up. Turn the key on. Battery sounds on. No signs of that, but it's still there. That's getting worse. So there we go, all that work for absolutely nothing. So I guess we'll have to try something else. Anyway, I'll try and keep my chin up and I'll see you on the next one. I'll see you in another life, brother.